Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing some outside work. We are getting a supply to this. This is prefabricated and pre-wired. I've been told it's been tested by the company, but we'll test it anyway, obviously. But yeah, this is all pre-wired, so we just got to get a supply to here. Um, but we are putting in some stuff for the future as well. Basically, I'm going to take a 6mm from here now. I've just drilled through. I'm going to get a 6mm in here. Leighton's going to start digging a trench. He's, there's concrete under there, so he's starting to break it up first. We're going over to that area there. All this is going to be knocked down. There's going to be a new shed here with a hot tub. So what I've decided to do, we're taking a 16mm, 20... Uh, 16 mil three core from the from the main house to this point where there will be a consumer unit which will supply this area and it will also supply the hot tub so we've got 16 mil to there and then we have a six mil then from there to here so that is the plan um at the moment obviously this isn't being knocked down so we are going to just connect it together so the 16 and the six are going to go together in this g whiz box and um, we're going to derate it to 32 amp for now, 32 amp circuit supply in this. Um, and then when it comes to it, once this is all knocked down, put a two-way unit in, well, probably a four-way. Um, we'll up it then to a 63 amp MCB, which will feed that shed. We can then split the circuits then, hot tub, sockets, lights, and then this one on its own. So that's the plan. Just show you the run. Like I said, they're going to come out of here, cleat down here around. We're going to bury it under here. Right the way to the edge of here. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna leave a massive coil here where we're gonna join it with the 16 mil, and we're gonna bury it to here under these chippings, and then around here, around here, and then the consumer unit is just down here. So we're gonna cleat it then tight to this all the way down, and then that's where the consumer unit. Is. So we're going to come out here somewhere with a big whisker box, straight down the wall, and then around. And that's that. So Leighton's on digging duty. I'm going to chuck the... I'm going to work backwards. I'm going to connect the 6mm into the board, gland it, whatnot, and then cleat, and then work my way down through the through the trenches through the trenches but so yeah that's what we're doing that's the plan i will keep you posted we are just going to strip this six mil ready Fucking hell, this shit Why? Through the pipe, there's a piece of the stick going across. Through the pipe. Ah, cut through the pipe. It's fine. <coughs> <coughs> It is loads quicker with a hacksaw than with this thing. You do get a slightly neater cut with it, so that's the reason I use it. So I'm just stripping this back now, stripping back the actual armour in. And then what I do with these, just to stop them going everywhere, get them in a nice pan and then just use one core or one strand to tie them all together. Beautiful. Um, I do need my knife, which is over here. <sighs> 
and like I've said in previous videos, the storm grinds have a deeper, whatever this is called, thread. So you need to make sure when you're stripping your cable, you allow for that. You know, a good way to do that would probably be measure it there. So then you have a good 20 mil inside the box as well. That's what I always do. Try to have about 20 mil, I just think it's good practice. These are my Baker adjustables that I had off Pablo as a gift. Because he's a nice guy. It'll go inside the box like so. And in case of sliding this up. Charge up with these. The reason I use these, I find I can get a little bit tighter with these because they allow you to grip it as you're going. If I can get the right size, that is. go one box glanded already I, I do find the storm glands are quicker as well don't know if anyone else finds out but yeah i think they're a lot quicker so what i always do so i'll br I bring that in the left hand side so now with my feed cable i'll bring it in the right hand side just so we've got that bit more space there's a bit more room to work so that's what i'm going to do now and get this fixed up on the wall and i'll show you that while i'm here i'll just show you these as well i bought some of these these are the arm eggs like bits they're, they're sweet because they fit inside a whisker box, no trouble at all. I seen them on Electrician TV. Um, Will on there was showing them on there. I'll show you the box. You get all different shapes and sizes. I think they're about 15 quid. But just for the convenience of that, they're worth it. Yeah, I'll put a link up. Where are we now? So it'll be up here of um, Electrician TV. That's Will's channel from Will's Electrical Services. I'll go follow him on Instagram as well. But yeah, he, he showed those on there, that's where I seen them first, and yeah, I think they are amazing. So that's as far as we got now, I'm going to click this down, and then we can start getting it in. Well, we've got to wait for the, the hole first. Well, I, I, can, I can connect all this first anyway. Right, so this far, this box here now is connected in there, and cleated to there. I've got to dig this bit out, and then we're going to go down this trench. Leighton's done a lovely straight trench for me, as you can tell. Well done, Leighton boy, well done. But, and then inside I've just connected the consumer unit up. Like I said, these are already pre-wired, so we've just taken our supply in, lying neutral on CPC. I'll start down and get a lid on there. Well, no, I won't. I'll leave it off till I've tested. And then, that's that. So, Leighton's going to carry on digging now. Got to get to there, and then we're just going to make this deeper all the way around until we get to that point there. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful. 
Right, so I'm doing this adaptable box now just for the joint. I'm just going to show you how I link out the earths. Um, I'm using the piranha nuts, or as Jack calls them, the cobra nuts, because he is the cobra. So I just undo the screws on here. Pretty straightforward, in all fairness. Try not to lose these washers. And then I've just got some four mil conduit earth here. Right, I've got no things on me now. Chop my snips, please, later. Why, well, thank you, fair witch. And then we just strip this off like so. Probably a little long, that is. I've got the Dele Deligo, Delego crimpers as well. I like these because you've got all the different heads, so you can crimp all sorts of different stuffs. So it's just that easy to change them over. Like that. Bish, bash, bosh. That goes in there like so. Got that the wrong way round. No, I had it the right way around. I think. I don't know, actually. What the fuck am I doing here? Two thousand years later. Yeah, it's mega easy to change it. Just need to know what the hell you're doing. Like that, that's correct. You learning a lot here now, late? Yeah. That's good, I'm glad. That must be the wrong thing, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I had the wrong teeth in for the bottom. The wrong bottom jaws. <clears throat> so, just crank that in there like so. And then we bite him down. So that's a one half done. So we'll just oh, I drop that down in there now, of course I have. And the beauty with these piranha nuts are the actual screw slightly longer than the nut itself, so it bites into the thread of that. So it means you get a nice tight gland as well and it's not going to pull out very easily and for the 25 we're going to need a slightly bigger opening because the screw is bigger so we're going to need that puppy there and then we're going in yeah we're going to have to change the jaws on here again now <laughs> not funny late Like I said, if you get the right jaws, it's surprising how easy this is to change over. It's a really good piece of kit. I would recommend it. I think they're about 75 quid. So they're not 
overly expensive. They're not as cheap as, say, a CK set, but then you've got a lot more possibilities with these. Right, where the fuck's our lug gone there? Oh, there. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what. Right, that's got to be cut. I've got enough strands there. Go tighter than that. I think that's tight enough. I might need a smaller one. Defo, need a smaller one. Wrong one again. Fucking I'm good at this. <laughs> Super easy to change, you see. I would leave a link for these, but I don't have a link for these. I got them from the wholesaler, so I really couldn't tell you where you would buy them from. I got them from RS Electrical Supplies, so maybe tap him up on Instagram or something and he'll get some sent out to you. Got the wrong bottom again, though. Riveting content, this is the watch. I don't want to know. Right. And there we go. Hallelujah. So that's the earth now link. Obviously, this is a supply cable. This is the 16 mil is going to be coming from the house, and then we're just linking up the earth. So this arm, SWA to the shed is earth as well. So that's that. Yeah. Show you my little ratchet I got off Amazonia. It's only cheap, but so this is a six mil three core SWA. like butter and then we have got a 16 mil three core SWA so let's see how it fares against that is that bear in mind the nip x version a 300 pound these are 28 pound I think look at that Clean cut on both. Six mil and a 16 mil three core. Sweet, easy as pie. <laughs> right, so we've just got that um, made off now into the adaptable box. 
so, like so this is what i showed you earlier where i linked these out and then this is the supply 16 mil in and a 6 mil out like i said this is going to be fused down now to a 32 amp supply for now and then when the time comes to it and all this is knocked down this this is going to become a consumer unit so we'll have a 63 amp supply then on this 16 mil twin um we've got plenty of slack here to go up into that building and yeah we're just going to leave it here for now um may fix it up here somewhere get to fix it on the wall just to keep it off the floor but yeah that's as far as we are at the minute like i said that's all done leighton's buried all that in now so it's just a case of cleaning down and getting it into the house so we're not looking too bad right so curse of the gopro battery's dead again absolutely crap i should have kept my dji osmo but anyway, I um, just want to show you this. We're all done. It's not the neatest. You know, it's real life sparky in. Um, I thought the consumer unit was here. It's not. It's actually over there. So we've had to try and come around here. So we've kind of a bend and we've had to up and over that. I didn't want to drill this because it is... I really didn't want that falling down on me. So, yeah. Landed into that box, 16 mil twin then, straight through into the consumer unit. It's on a 32 amp MTB at the moment. Just cleated down here then, late and did all this. And then half it goes under there and you've seen the rest. But yeah, it's on a 32 amp MTB at the moment. It's just starting to rain as well, so just in time. Um, 32 amp MTB at the moment, like I said, that's temporary. As soon as this all goes down, that's going to be a consumer unit. We're going to up it then to a 63 amp MCB. I think in Handler. Loves it. He loves it, Alex. Alex. Um, and then I'll just show you this. Chin board is they're not the best, but it's labeled sockets and lights. And there we go. Outside light on late. Mm -hmm. So, that's that. Now the job done. Um, we've got to go have a look at that big job I mentioned before, the big barn one. Still haven't started that. That's dragging on, but I think they're pretty imminent start now. Don't know when I'm going to fit it in, if I'm honest. I've got so much work on now, but I've got to pop up there now, have a meeting with the builders and the clients. So that's where we are going. But yeah, this one's done. Didn't turn out too bad, really bit of a mess here but yeah. cables hidden as much as we could and there we go it goes up there like i showed you but maybe i shall get some footage when we come back when all the new new sheds are up and you can see what it all turned out like so thanks for watching guys sorry i didn't get any footage of this but the gopro battery died um, oh, and I did have a bit of an issue. I was drilling from inside the consumer unit to outside. Um, I drilled, because it, it was a metre thick stone wall, the drill bit was wandering. I hit the live and neutral on the RCD and it actually blew the main fuse. So we've had to get that sorted as well. So it's been a bit of a nightmare towards the end. But with it, we're done. Um, like I said, when we come to the next stage now, I'll get a video of that so you can see what's happening. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that, give it a thumbs up as well. Boop that like button. Really helps the channel grow. Leave a comment. Do whatever. Call me at names. Whatever you want to do. Any interaction will help my channel get seen. So, really want the channel to grow. Really want to hit 2,000 subs. So, if we could, that'd be great. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Stay safe. What would you say, Lee? What? Well, Ta-da. Ta-da.